Live, local, late breaking. This is WVAL TV 11 News Sunday morning. Welcome back. The time right now is 918 and 67 degrees on TV Hill. We'd all like to have a little bit more money in the bank, but one way to do it could be to live below your means. It can be easier said than done for sure. And joining us this morning to help us with some advice is Brad Glickman. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, you have some basic ways that we can do this. And can we do this painlessly so it doesn't feel like it's a chore? It can be painless. Mm -hmm. And I think that's my fifth tip, and we'll go over that, how you actually save. Okay. Uh, but... Uh, it, it, it's a difficult task. Okay, so your first tip is leave funding at home. What does that mean? Yeah, leave funding at home. Uh, this is especially true for those people who are having a hard time controlling their consumer mm -hmm. debt. Those high interest rate credit cards really tend to spiral out of control. Uh, leave your credit cards at home. Leave. So if you go out, you know you're going to go shopping, you know you're going to an event, don't even bring them. Don't even bring them. Just bring cash. Mm -hmm. That way you avoid those impulse purchases. And you only spend what you have. Only with spend you. what you have. Wait for last minute deals. That one sounds simple enough. It, it is. I, I don't know about you, but my inbox is inundated with deals and promotions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have to wait for those last minute deals. Everyone deserves to go on vacation from time to time. And if you wait until the last minute, mm -hmm. you can really get some good deals. And also, those people who are hesitant to dine out, uh, Groupon and Living Social, mm -hmm. I get 50 to 75% off of uh, dining at my favorite local restaurants. So you don't have to eat ramen noodles every night. <laughs> you can yeah. still eat out and save money. <laughs> Forget the Joneses yeah, but, and the Smiths and you know everybody else, yeah, right? The Joneses, you know, your friends mm -hmm. and your neighbors. You know, focus on yourself. Understand your own financial situation. Uh, trying to keep up with the Joneses can be devastating uh, emotionally and financially. Uh, don't worry about what your neighbor has and what you don't have. Oftentimes they can't afford what they have and they're living beyond their means. Make friends with your neighbors and borrow what they have. You can do that too. See? Save you money right there. <laughs> Buy used vehicles. A lot of people are still hesitant to do that. They don't know what they're getting when they get a used vehicle. Yeah, but you know, this may be tough for someone who has a car fetish, mm -hmm. but the fact <laughs> remains the second you drive a new car off a lot, mm -hmm. it depreciates in value significantly. I let someone else eat those costs, mm -hmm. and buying used vehicles can save thousands of dollars and really cut down on your monthly bills. And you can find really great places to buy those used vehicles. You can. Okay, and then you say automate your savings. So that's paying yourself first? Basically. Paying yourself first, exactly. Now, even if you're having trouble with your debt, mm -hmm. you need to find the balance between paying down that debt and saving for retirement, education, whatever your priorities are. And the easiest way to do that is systematically through an employer-sponsored plan, like a 401k plan, or automatically from your checking or savings account. Uh, it's painless. You don't have to write any checks that way. You have to save it to have it in the bank. You do. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really thank appreciate you. it. You're welcome.